Hey there, welcome to my channel, Messing with Michelle. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome, my name's Michelle. So it's officially fall. I have the warm, cozy fall vibes going on inside my house, but I also wanna bring that nice, cozy feeling of fall to my front porch. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I took this ordinary wire wreath into a beautiful DIY wreath to display on my front door for the fall season. And I'm only using dollar store products. Everything on this wreath is super inexpensive. It's a really easy DIY to create this look. So if you wanna learn more, definitely keep on watching and I'll show you how I achieved the look for my fall wreath. To create this DIY, you're going to need a wire wreath. I found mine at Dollarama for $2. Assorted leaves or florals of your choosing. Assorted pumpkins and decor for your wreath. Jute rope, burlap, a glue gun as well as scissors and that's all you need. To cover my wire wreath, I'm going to use jute rope as well as burlap, and I'm going to have an even divide of jute rope on one side as well as burlap on the other. So just to help kind of mark where the half point is of the wire wreath, there's these small metal pieces on the side. So I just use these as my guide, and I'm going to cover one half of the circle with the jute and the other with the burlap. I'm starting to wrap the wreath with my jute rope first and I'm just using these little indicators on each side of my wreath as the starting off point so I know where one half of the circle is and then I can begin wrapping the rope onto that one half. So I'm just using a little bit of hot glue on the back of the wreath and I'm placing my jute rope onto the glue, holding it for a few seconds to make sure that it's secure and in place. When the rope is secured to the wire wreath, you're going to begin wrapping the jute around half of the wreath. And this is a very simple, easy method, just over and under. And you're gonna repeat this process until half of the wreath is covered entirely with jute rope. As I'm watching back the video and editing, I realized that I probably should have put the glue on the jute rather than the edge of the wire because it's definitely a lot easier and less of a mess. I'm seeing the glue just drip onto the table and to avoid this from happening, definitely glue the back of the rope and not on the rack. But I have to say this is Messes with Michelle, so I had to keep true to the name of this channel and create a bit of a mess. But if you can avoid making messes for your projects, definitely just glue the back of the rope not the wire rack. I just reached the end of the rope and I used a small dab of hot glue to secure the end to the wreath and then I just cut off the little tail end of the rope that I didn't need and if you notice little gaps and you can see exposed wire between the rope you can just squish it together to get a nice tight fit and this is what your wreath will look like once you finish wrapping one half with the jute rope. Next up I'm getting ready to cover the other half of the wreath with burlap. Using my scissors, I'm going to start cutting multiple strips of burlap so this way I have enough to cover the one half of the wreath. Now that I have the strips of burlap cut, I'm going to use my hot glue gun once again and putting small dabs on the back of the wreath and just securing the burlap onto the wreath. 
And just one thing to remember is when you are starting to wrap, I like to start from the back of the wreath and start wrapping it from that point forward because I find that once you get to the end of the burlap or the rope, the seam will always end up in the back. So this way it's not exposed at the front of your wreath. So I wasn't really using any sort of precision or any sort of method. I just basically wrapped the burlap around the wreath and just making sure that I was pulling it nice and secure each time I wrapped it around. And this is a check-in to show you what the wreath now looks like with half of the wreath covered with jute and the other half with burlap. Now that I have the wreath fully covered with jute rope as well as burlap, I'm going to start decorating. But before I do that, I just want to go through a few things that I think will be helpful if you have two front doors like I do when you're starting to decorate and if you're trying to go for this particular look. So for this look, I'm just doing half decorations on one side with the exposed jute rope on the other. So when you are looking at your front doors, you just want to keep in mind that when you are looking at your left hand door to put your decorations on your left side and then when you go to your right door, you're going to switch over and start decorating on the right side. So this way when you're looking at your front doors, it's still a mirror image but it's not too cluttered and the decorations are kind of separated. So this way it has more visual interest and it looks a little bit more even when you place it on your door. So for me, now that I have my wreath fully covered. I'm making sure that the wreath that I have on my right door has the jute rope exposed on the left side and then I'm going to start decorating on the right side of this wreath. I'm ready to start decorating my wreath and I'm using a variety of different leaves and decor from the dollar store. If you miss my fall decorate with me, I'll link the card up above if you wanted to check it out. I use a lot of classic colors for fall this year. It just gives a warm and cozy inviting feeling. So I'm using the same type of colors on my front door. So the same theme is picked up from the outside and when you walk in, you can see the same color scheme on the inside of the house. A tip that I want to share with you, which actually has worked out quite well for me when creating wreaths, is to hang the wreath directly onto a door. So this way you have a better idea how the decorations look when they're placed onto the wreath. It just gives you a better perspective and the opportunity to make any adjustments of the location of the decorations. And since I have to create a second wreath for my second door, because I have two doors, I'm using the first wreath that I created as my guide to be able to place the decorations in similar locations. So this way I can have almost a mirror image on both sides of my door. So you can't really see, but I am going back and forth between you know, the original wreath and the wreath that I'm creating to make sure that the pumpkins and all of the pine cones are placed in a similar style. To give you a bit of a breakdown of the cost per wreath, it costs around $20 per wreath, which I think is a pretty good price considering a pre-made wreath can cost you $50 to over $100 depending on where you shop. So this is a great opportunity to create your own personalized wreath for your front door. You can use any colors, any types of decor that you choose to make your own and to fit the decor and color scheme around your home. So I'm almost ready to show you the end result of how both of the wreaths look in just a minute, but I'm just gonna place this little bit of wheat onto the wreath as the final touch. Here's the before of the plain wire wreath, and just by using a bit of dollar store decor, I was able to transform it into these beautiful wreaths to display on my front door for the fall season. today's video and it gave you a fall cozy vibe and some inspo for when you're creating your DIY project wreath for your front doors. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video when I upload next.